Hello YouTube, for your reviewing pleasure today, I have a 1985 Fujimi or Fujimai testers release of the SH3H Sea King. Uh, this is a recovery um, and also anti-submarine helicopter. So Taking a look here, it's uh, made by Sikorsky. A little bit of history on the aircraft. Kit number on this was 364. And you can see the manufacturers there. And then on the other side, what parts you'll need to complete your to complete the model. If it will focus. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> and then on the back you get a bunch of shots of the completed aircraft. Just to kind of show what it will look like built up out of box. So Go ahead and crack the box open here. All right, now, to note, I, when I received this kit or uh, purchased this kit, um, it did actually come with an extra detail set. Um, the nice thing about secondhand kits, sometimes you can get a deal. Um, this would have probably been about a uh, 15 or $20 uh, detail set at least, um, you know, depending on where you get it. Um, but like I said, sometimes you can luck out uh, with secondhand kits to receive those additional information. I'll move that off so it doesn't glare so bad. All right, and then our instruction sheet here. So we start off with the actual sprue layout, what each sprue is, and then heading in. So we start off uh, by getting the two side pods, getting the actual fuselages ready, the interior built up. and then rotor assemblies, and then pretty much painting options. It, it is a straightforward build. It does give you a couple of different marking options. Um, so you have a couple of Navy SH-3s. This one is the H variant. This one is the D variant. Uh, the H variant up here is from the USS America. The bottom variant here is from the USS... Uh, believe that is Enterprise. And then on the back you have a Marines variant as well. Uh, the Marines variant I believe is going to be all in the uh, the blue. Let's see if I can see that real quick. Uh, nope, looks like a gunship gray. So, uh, but that's the uh, three variants that you get in the kit molded in white plastic. Now this one is in just a stapled bag that is separate, so I'll go ahead and pop this one open uh, as it wasn't a sealed bag. And this is not the original bag. Uh, this was a bag that the previous owner to the kit prior to me receiving it had put it into uh, the detail, or I'm sorry, the uh, clear sprue was put into a separate bag. And looking, there's some little bit of wobble in the clear parts. Again, from 1970s, 80s, you're not going to find crystal clear glass in almost any kit. So just kind of expect that. Um, set that off to the side. And then he has individually sealed all of the bags. So I'll leave these bags sealed. On the outer surface, though, there is a plethora of raised riveting detail. Uh, so it'll make weathering of this bird really... Look really nice when done. Now it does have the molded on rear wheel. And because of the fact that the uh, front wheels will mount about right here, definitely will not be a tail sitter. Also by having a tail wheel. <laughs> Alright, so taking a look here. First sprue with the pods. Um, again, really, really nice. Uh, molding on this. Not really any exceptional amount of details. It does have a couple of uh, depth charge drop torpedoes as well. Set that to the side. And then we get to the last sprue, which I'll just go ahead and slide that over there. It is going to be your rotor blades, which are in really nice shape. I'm taking a quick glance here, just in the light. It's been a while since I've looked at this kit. Uh, it does have a good bit of ribbing detail on the back side of the rotors. And then we get to your interior here, uh, which does kind of have a raised floor. You know, so, looks almost like a uh, wood grain style pattern to that. 
Not sure how accurate that actually would be. And then uh, taking a quick glance though, since I do have it here, I'll go ahead and do a quick look at these. This is going to be the Eddard set for uh, the SH3 from Fujimi. Uh, Fujimi, again, it's my pronunciations, uh, which this set is going to be uh, kit number 72256. And then it primarily consists of additional uh, detail for the cockpit, interior, as well as some exterior inf or parts. So taking a look up here, you have some undercarriage detail, tail rotor details, main rotor. So this can take this basic kit and make it into a showstopper model with just you know a little bit of extra time, patience, and labor. And then some additional exterior details, so refiller hatches, you know, panel access hatches, things like that. And that's it. It's actually just a couple of things. And then you just get two frets of uh, photo etch metal, so I'll keep these in the bag. See, the first one has a nice diamond plate texture or uh, sound, uh, sound dampening texture for the top of the cabin. Same on the actual bulkhead detail here. So, a lot of detail parts with this. Um, like I said, it was nice that it actually came with it. So, this has been a 1985 release of the Fujimai. Testers SH3H Seeking.